guys, I'm Andre. I'm Ailton. I'm Tristan. And this is ATV. We're gonna be react to a uh, Ryu vs. Jin oh, yeah. death battle. Uh, and honestly, actually, I know quite a bit about Ryu. Jin, I know but a lot about. I know just a lot, but not Tekken. specific details yeah. of yeah. stuff. I, like in Tekken, I, like, I played, played a couple Tekken. of them and I, I kind of know a bit of the story. And I've watched something that, but I don't know. Everything about Jin. There's still yeah, a lot like there's, of stuff. The like, basic stuff I know about Jin is he went. I think he tried to uh, find. I think his father's killer mm. or something. I think went to the tournament. Uh, I think wanted to kill Kazuya and went to the tournament that Kazuya was holding out just to do it. Found out I think Kazuya his actual his actual father. Uh, he won the tournament. And he wanted to stop the tournament. I think he did. Then later on, he becomes a evil CEO or something like that. He has his own company, and I think goes in. He takes over Kazuya's company, becomes the head. Eventually, becomes evil. I think in it, and that's the most I know of Jin. And I don't even know if that's right. And then there's also the thing about how Hayachi wanted a strong kid, so he married a devil thing or something and then got Kazuya who had the devil gene in him and, uh, Kazuya passed it on to Jin and then Jin. So Jin has now devil. has devil powers also which has the form of devil Jin yeah. the most original name and I think that he's like the one that has the strongest version of it demon Jin and like and that's pretty much all I think all I know about him I know more about Ryu and how his Darkado and all that. Yeah, and his uh, philosophy is more is a lot like Goku, mm -hmm. where he just wants a strong opponent to verse and goes around fighting to find strong opponents. But he's still a pretty good guy yeah. in general. He's he does he like wants to learn how to control the Darkado and not let it control him. Mm -hmm. And it's, but so pretty much in a fight, especially I kind of. Ryu winning. In martial arts, in, when it comes to martial arts, I think Ryu might be slightly better. Might be. Yeah. In physical, of, like, in physical strength. Probably Jin. Right? No, physical <laughs> strength I think is Ryu still. It's cause just but, like, especially in the, but techniques. Technique. In like technique wise. Street Fighter, it just has like, more powerful opponents also. I'm sure. And then when it comes to. When it comes to. Techniques like strange and unusual to his Jin, especially with his Devil Jin powers. He can shoot a laser. <laughs> like, whoosh. you seen people spam that all the time. I don't know about that because Street Fighter had like, well, with like, obviously the strange thing like being like he could shoot a fireball from his hand. Yeah. And yeah. stuff. And like then there's a bunch of people in Street Fighter that just have a good thing. Supernatural. A good thing too though would be is like, uh, which would really push Jin is if Jin is faster. Would be make it even more even of a fight yeah. than Ryu, because I don't think Ryu's insanely fast. He's good. That I, that guy can change my mind from watching this. It's just Street the the whole thing of Street Fighter doesn't give that much information. And then there's the comics of Street Fighter, which is, I think is hard to come by, anyways, unless you're like actually looking at a comic store. Mm -hmm. But but we can we should get into this. Yeah, I guess. Let's get into it. Booyah. Everyone has different reasons for studying martial arts. Yeah. For personal honor, to improve health, and for kicking the crap out of the other people. <laughs> like with Ryu, the wandering world warrior of Street Fighter. And Jin Kazuma, the power-hungry oh, yeah. martial arts master of Tekken. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And I'm it's excited our job to see this. I love martial arts and stuff. Skills to find out like who fighting, win a not magic. Battle. It's gonna be a three death battle, it's always good. He's the hero the world never knew. His name means prosperous, plentiful, and abundant. He is the wandering warrior. He is Ryu. That's yeah, boy. a epic introduction for a hobo. Orphaned at a young age, Ryu was adopted by the martial arts master, Goken. Under Goken's training and beside his fellow student yeah. Ken Masters, Ryu was trained in the art of Ansatsuken, aka the Assassination Fist. This ancient fighting style was specifically designed for murder, which automatically makes it the best martial art ever. Well, Goken actually taught Ryu a slightly altered variant of the Ansatsuken. Inspired by Karate, Kenpo, and Judo, Goken's version was a generally non-lethal one. 
lame. <laughs> but the deadly side of the martial art lived on in Goken's yeah. brother, Akuma, who would ultimately prove to be Goken's downfall. One day, Ryu and Ken return to their dojo to find their master dead. dead. Yeah, kind of. He got better later. But Ryu didn't know that, so he swore to wander the earth perfecting his abilities until he could take down Akuma himself. With the Unsetsuken style, Ryu is a master at close quarter combat. With such techniques as the Shoryuken uppercut and the flying hurricane, so kick, he can take down most foes in near seconds. Capcom had a. He's like a living helicopter uh, of pain. But thing, he can also use his a crossover a with uh, a this anime that I was reading, bombs. or manga that I was reading, mm -hmm. oh, no, called, uh, I don't remember what the manga is called, but it's a martial the arts manga, most of their with timing. and, with all these awesome powers of and the Capcom fighter is Ryu vs. the main the character. With his skills, Ryu quickly reached the top of the competition. For the title of World Warrior, he faced his toughest opponent yet, Sagat. Who ended up beating the shit out of him. <laughs> but Sagat was surprisingly a pretty good sport, so when he thought the fight was over, he offered Ryu a hand up. And in that moment, something dark swelled from within oh. Ryu's consciousness. A force so fierce and destructive, he couldn't contain it. And oh. he lashed out. With an enraged shout and an explosion of blood, Ryu emerged as champion over Sagat's near-dead body. Ryu's dark side had been unleashed. This was the Satsui no Hot. A violent inner force so extreme, its name actually means surge of murderous intent. If I ever knowingly father a child, I know what I'm naming him. <laughs> Under the influence of the Satsui no Hato, Ryu falls into an uncontrollable rage known as Evil Ryu, where his physical and spiritual power skyrockets. He can even teleport and use Akuma's favorite technique, the Shun Goku Satsu, which literally translates to instant hell murder. Okay, shit, <laughs> now I gotta have two kids that I care about. The Shun Goku Satsu, or the Raging Demon, is a fatal move which attacks the very soul of its victims with the gravity of all their past sins. To make them die 1,000 deaths. But while the Satsui no Hato is a manifestation of Ryu's dark side, he has That's achieved balance it. with the light. This is called Mu no Ken, or the power of nothingness. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. What is a strong do right? nothing? By focusing on mental and spiritual refinement and detachment, Ryu has achieved the ultimate state of being. This begets a power strong enough to match and even surpass the Satsui no Hado. Oh yeah, that's how Goken survived Akuma's hell murder attack. Oh, and now Ryu's got the same power. Called Kage Asha. With all this power, Ryu's performed some incredible feats. Aside from winning the World Warrior Tournament, he's dodged bullets, destroyed skyscrapers, and survived Balrog's Gigaton Blow. Yeah, remember him from that boxing match we did? He's strong enough to kill an elephant in one punch. Ryu is so tough that he's survived getting impaled. And when he well, goes evil what? mode, he can just walk through gunfire. He's strong enough to lift this <laughs> enormous boulder over his head oh, by God. estimating the boulder's volume compared like to... Like I said, I'm pretty sure Ryu has physical strength. We can yeah. determine it must weigh yeah. at least 36 tons. Plus, there's a guy sitting on top of the boulder, and he's lifting his own boulder! Man, Oro's cool. While Ryu's fighting record isn't perfect, his wins far outnumber his losses. He's defeated his friend Ken, the dictator M. Bison, and even a genetically engineered super warrior named Seth. But those were just pit stops compared to his frequent battles with Akuma. And if you don't know, Akuma shattered an island with a single punch, yeah, split yeah. air and rock in half in Australia, and jumped to the ocean surface from 4,000 feet below in three seconds while destroying a submarine. That's about 3,000 <laughs> miles per hour, by the way. <laughs> and I guess he just powered through the bends. Yeah, he's definitely final buzz material. And so, years after Akuma's attack on his foster father, Ryu faced him for the final time. And with oh, the power of no Ken on his side, Ryu was victorious. All in a day's work for everyone's favorite street fighter. You have the power to actually defeat that beast. Now show it to me. This power is not to defeat. This is the power to push forward. Jin Kazuma, when he was just a boy, he wouldn't figure he'd grow up to be one of the most dangerous men to ever live. Oh, oh, I know, right? It's not on fleek. Super crazy family. <laughs> Jin was raised by his single mother, who taught him the Kazuma family style martial arts after his father okay. abandoned them. Uh, story of my life. <laughs> no, really, those training days with 21. Were some of the best times of my life. <laughs> one day, Jin's mother.
mother sensed a great evil approaching. She told him that if anything were to happen to her, he should seek out his grandfather, Heihachi Michima. Right on cue, a big ass ogre showed up in a tank. When Jin came to, his mom and Shrek were nowhere to be seen. Don't you hate it how moms are always right? Thankfully, it wasn't too difficult for Jin to find Heihachi. Yeah, he's super rich and has a really tall building. Kind of hard to miss. So rich, in fact, that Heihachi owned a multinational conglomerate empire Whoa. with its own banking, weaponry, this, military this, forces, right. and, just for kicks, a martial arts tournament. Whoa! Why didn't Mom tell him about this? Time to collect on those missing Christmas presents, Granddad! Ah! Well, she also forgot to mention that Heihachi is a terrible father who's obsessed with throwing his own son off cliffs. Yeah. Nobody's perfect, I guess. Regardless, under Heihachi's guidance, Jin yeah, really? tried perfected the Mishima Ryu fighting style. With two types of martial arts mastered, he's got all sorts of techniques that can pack a punch. Such as the flash punch combo and the electrically charged lightning screw uppercut. Or his famous ten hit combo chain. Once he gets you stuck in his flurry of punches and kicks, you're not going anywhere until he finishes you off with a classic dragon uppercut. With these talents and a thirst for revenge, Jin entered his grandfather's King of Iron Fist tournament. There he came face to face with the ogre once again. But instead of, you know, interrogating him to find out what happened to his mother, Jin just killed him. Nice job, stupid. There goes the only lead you had. Yeah, nothing tastes better than sweet, sweet revenge. Except for maybe mom's cooking. Well, unfortunately, it didn't last long, because he got shot up by his grandfather. Ah, oh, that son of a bitch. Mama always said, never trust a bald man who tells his barber, give me the Wolverine. But Jin had a little surprise for Heiachi, and for himself, actually. Thanks to his family yeah. line, he has inherited the dreaded and parasitic yeah. Devil Gene. Which turns him into a flying laser shooting demon person! <laughs> now that's one genetic what disorder you can sign me up for! Good news then, I've been working on an artificial digestible version of the Devil Gene myself. Oh yeah? Would that happen to be the chewy fruit candy in the blue bucket? What did you do? Well, my dog Jack Spaniels was wandering around scrounging for food as he does, and uh, I was wondering why he suddenly grew horns and wings. You have got to be shitting me. <laughs> anyway, compared to his base form, Devil Jin's strength, speed, and durability are better than ever. Yeah, Devil Jin is, is strong enough to throw people form. dozens of feet and even smash them through walls. For this instance in particular, he's pushing a Hachi through the limestone wall of an Aztec pyramid. To do this, Jin must have struck the wall with force equal to at least 10 tons per square inch. Hell, mm -hmm. Jin is stronger than this guy called Raven, who can toss around this giant war robot named Nancy! When compared to mm -hmm. real life robots of similar size, mm -hmm. and robots were the one thing that I here, thought this machine that, that would be a big strength feat in these. Also, Jin is was how they deal with the robots, because the robots are ginormous and tech in. Which puts his maximum flight speed over escape velocity. That's more than 25,000 miles per hour. He can even Ooh. punch so fast he causes shock waves. That's right. I told you, if he had speed, it would make him more even. Sound. It seems like he does have me never he's getting more speed than. Mm -hmm. Totally reasonable, considering his grandfather can catch bullets in his teeth from just 20 feet away. And surely I remember that. Better than that. Heihachi doesn't even have the devil gene. That's right. The devil gene traces back not to Heihachi, but to Jin's grandmother. Who freaking rides Tiger? Yeah. As a result, Heihachi's son Kazuya inherited the devil gene and passed it on to Jin. Kazuya's powers are basically the same as Jin's, and he's shown just how far the devil form can go. He shot a blast powerful enough to erupt a volcano and survived a satellite laser straight out of Independence Day. <laughs> this is the same laser that once shot the robotic soldier Gunjack. By measuring the blast radius and resulting devastation, the laser's firepower appears to equal 3.7 megatons of TNT. Ooh. You know the bomb that got dropped on Nagasaki in World War the sequel? Yeah, this laser's like 176 of those hitting all at once. While the devil gene can sometimes be difficult for Jin to control, it provides an enormous advantage against almost any foe. With it, he's won three of the four King of Iron Fist tournaments he's entered. He's defeated Heihachi, Kazuya, and even the supposed OG Devil Man himself, Azazel. Too bad he had to start World War the Second sequel just to find him. Kind of a dick move. Jin's certainly no angel, and hardly yeah. a hero. Still, 
When it comes down to it, he is the child of destiny, and not even the devil's blood can seal his fate. Can you understand? All this fighting is pointless. It's never gonna end! It will end with this bloodline. And that is why I fight. <laughs> Yeah, it's all thing of Jin was the this greatest person. But I like really the Ryu, who has a pretty underrated Uh, so to me, I feel like Jin, like Jin might win. Uh, I don't know. Like I don't know. Jin might win with his. I don't know. He's evil. <laughs> when it comes to physical strength, I don't doubt that. Uh, Jin, Jin. that, uh, Ryu is stronger, I feel. Maybe. But his speed When is it comes to durability, as... de like, the Devil Jin seems like yeah. it might, yeah, might surpass yeah. even... Might surpass even Ryu. Mm -hmm. Who, like, they did is, like, oh, he versed Akuma, who can destroy a island and stuff like that. I was like, an island is not comparable. Well, it is, I get kind of comparable to, like, the biggest thing was the laser. Yeah, the laser is yeah, like that thing is like, probably more stronger than breaking an island. Like that thing probably yeah. a laser like that could have like destroyed mm. the continent. I don't know. No, not a continent because like the Nagasaki broke, like kind of like a state. Like if you dropped it on a state of U.S., it would probably be gone. Yeah, so it's like so equivalent that, to an island. Think technically, quite well, right? Probably because he says bit. like hundred something times more bigger than the Hiroshima. I think yeah. the laser is probably bigger than the island. Hmm, but the, I, the durability, so I'm just going to say the durability is I think it's Jin. a bit more. Like it, I think it might I be mean, Jin, but... I did it, say that uh, Ryu literally got pierced and lived. Yeah, but the, there's the same, like, Jin took bullets. That's Which obviously is not the same as being pierced by a yeah, punch, but, but it's like, still like... The bullet thing is more like, it probably just bounced off. No, it shot him. Yeah, but... That, then that's weird because this thing of like, they didn't say anything about regenerative skill. From Jin? Yeah. Because if they actually shot him, then like, did he come back like Wolverine? Mm. Or did it actually just, once it hit him, then it's just like, it came off. Like it didn't actually pierce him. Mm. Well, we probably would but find out. Faster, but though. Faster, I think it's Jin. Jin's fat, I'm pretty sure faster yeah, I think than... Jin's probably going Mach 34 is what we he gotta, said. We gotta decide now. So to Ryu me... you or Jin? Okay, I'll go with Jin. I'm gonna go with Jin, I think. <laughs> uh, Come on, man. You can't... If we all lose, it's still good, Andre. Just pick Jin. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna choose Ryu because it makes okay, okay, sense. Okay, okay, okay. I don't you know. pick Ryu. I want to judge that laser. That laser is really, yeah, like, I messing me up. the laser is the one. It's just... No, his demon form messes me up. When it comes to That's physical, like... Actual punches, like per punch, I think Ryu if, will be dead. Because if, you, if you're going have with more devastation, if you're going with he's stronger than Akuma because he was able to beat him or whatever. Akuma, like they said, he jumped like thirty feet from water mm. up and like destroyed a submarine. So I'm thinking about how much pressure would that take? Mm. And then, it's, it's all about all these like calculations you have to take. And then it's in that oh, the guy threw like a fifteen to thirty ton where mm. where uh. Ryu was holding something higher than that. Like what? He was holding a boulder that was like that's thirty what, tons. That's the thing. Is that when it comes to physical level. strength, I think Ryu has it down. Yeah, down. but I'm also bringing it into like durability wise. Durability so, and speed. But that's durability, Ryu, Ryu, is the same as any like he can stand a punch. He got punched through. No, because remember. Well, not both, just a normal he, punch. No. Okay. So I'm, not, I'm gonna pick Ryu. I'm picking Jin. I'll pick Ryu. Okay, so Tristan switched. I don't so, know. I might lose. Okay, so we're gonna go so and see that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so. Three, two, one, go. I'm glad it's 3D though. Yeah, that's sick. Mm -hmm. Someone stopped it. Where did him?
pretty tough. Easy scoring. It's kind of just love basic martial arts. So that's kind of all. You have to go to the dark card of fun. Out of the stadium, watch. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. he's in the dark mode. But he can't fly. Can he? No. He can't fly. Okay, he's not right. Woo! Oh, I like the effects, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of a uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. did get assets oh. from Dragon Ball Fighters or something. I walk the path of a true warrior. Yeah! Oh! oh I switched uh, for a good oh, reason! Awesome. <laughs> you should've switched! <laughs> Let's see why. Nintendo Switch. Both Ryu and Jin had many displays of incredible feats, but very few truly showcased the upper limits of their power. We know that in their base forms, both could lift around 30 mm. tons, and move at That's true. Speed. They only showed also, the physical. Also, we know Ryu could maintain a much better level of control and discipline in Muno Ken than Jin in Devil Form. Yeah, hardcore control is good. Fans know he has pretty Control's good late. control over it in that Blood Vengeance movie, but it's pretty inconsistent with game canon. Even Tekken's creator has said it's not canon. Also, Jin's fall from orbit feet was impressive, but it is hard to quantify due to its presentation. Even if we assume we are to take it literally, a man of Jin's size landing at terminal velocity would equal around 18 tons of force. But to find their limits, we had to scale them to comparable characters. Scaling Jin to his father Kazuya was logical. Kazuya survived that 3.7 megaton laser blast, and it's clear it was necessary for him to be in devil form to do so. Kazuya's own laser blast was strong enough to help kick off a volcano's eruption, a feat which could require up to 100 megatons of TNT. But that's a very generous mm -hmm. estimate, and its actual potency is likely much less. Since their power comes from the same place, and Jin's even defeated Kazuya before, it's safe to say Jin can do all this too. As for Ryu, we knew exactly who we had to scale him to. Let's mm. talk about oh, okay. Akuma. First off, yeah, just to Akuma. prove the scaling is reasonable, Ryu and Akuma share very similar abilities. Both were trained in the Atsutsuken fighting style, and both possessed the Satsui no Hado. They fought each other several times, and when the story was all said and done, Ryu emerged, ultimately victorious, based on his skill alone. Now that that's out of the way, let's watch Akuma punch an island to death! With a single <laughs> strike, Akuma managed to break apart 
an entire island so thoroughly that Ryu, who was on the island, was left floating helplessly in nearly clear water. Assuming the island is somewhat circular, we've estimated the volume and deduced that in order to fragment the island like this, Akuma's punch must have been over 400 megatons of TNT. Oh, really? That's more than four times stronger than anything a devil gene has pulled up. And Ryu takes blows from this guy all the time. Sure, Ryu wasn't getting hit with 400 megatons every time Akuma landed a punch, but the most a devil gene carrier has ever survived amounts to less than 1% in comparison. Even if Jin could survive a strike as strong as Kazuya's volcano feet, it still pales in comparison. The fact that Ryu survived being on the island as it was blown apart helps justify this scaling too. Well, Jin still takes the speed advantage with that flight in yeah, orbit, it's but it doesn't mean much when the difference of power and toughness is this massive. When it came down to it, Ryu's strength, really ability, fight, and control mm -hmm. were just too far out How of nice it reach. Looks. Wait, Wiz, we forgot a feat! You remember that gun jack robot? A later model of Jack once destroyed a meteor. Couldn't we just scale Jin to that? Well, it's unsupported by canon material, but even if we did, guess who destroyed an even bigger meteor? Akuma. <laughs> Akuma. <laughs> Jin up, everybody. Ryu's taking care of business. I'm positive. I'm pretty sure they took Dragon Ball Fighter assets. We must try. It's an ad. We never heard of Could just say Thanks for watching. If you guys want exclusive commentary on the episode, just click that little box right over there. And if you want the battle music from this episode, wow. you can get it by clicking the link in the description. You know this by now. Who's next, next time. I know who's next. <gasps> Wait. Samurai Jack? Against Samurai Champloo. Oh, oh, it's yeah, Afro it's Samurai. Samurai. I don't know why it does. Samurai Champloo. That's cool. Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of people wanted Samurai Champloo against Afro Samurai, but it's Afro Samurai against Jack. Alright guys. I think it's because Champloo is more unrealistic. So... But both of them are, in the, are American shows. Yeah. Do like oh. the show guys. But yeah, I think... It was a whole thing of... It was funny because it kind of seemed more of a... Tekken characters versus Akuma. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's how it seemed. Like, oh, Akuma is insane. It thinks, ah, uh, like, and they're trying to pit tons of. Oh, you know what every Tekken character does? Akuma does it, but better. Uh, but it makes sense, I guess, especially if you're gonna go with the, that kind of logic. Because Ryu is very similar to him. But yeah, I, it, it was pretty fair. I see how everything works. Yeah. It done Not much else to say with it. So, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to catch more of our videos, and comment down below on any series of videos you want us to watch in the future. That's it. See ya. Goodbye.